These are deficiency symptoms of essential fatty acids. So elevated cholesterol and triglycerides, hormonal imbalances, um, poor prostaglandin production. Again, that's a foundational hormone, faulty calcium metabolism. So if someone is dealing with osteoporosis, more than likely no one ever mentioned to them, they might want to do essential fatty acids. Any skin disorder, defective water balance, like edema uh, would be in there. Any of your itises, so as arthritis, bursitis, um, diverticulitis, colitis, anything with itis on the end is inflammation. And then uh, candida, um, candida overgrowth in the gut, postpartum depression. Um, this is this is something that is just so sad because the medical field does not tell women you need to be taking uh, omega-3, you need to be on an EPA DHA when you're pregnant because your baby's brain is being created and then have that on board. So when you, after that baby's born, you don't go into postpartum depression. Um, these essential fats have a lot to do with a uh, mood. And of course, cause our brain's 60% fat. So anxiety and depression and postpartum depression, you wanna have those on board, those omega-3s on board. If someone's been eating a really crappy diet and they want to switch over and start getting those cell membranes healthier. It takes about six months. So don't expect a miracle when you start taking these essential oils. If you've got some of these things I listed here, 